Okay, John, nice to catch up with you. It's been a bit of a whirlwind hour or so. But what a whirlwind, what a whirlwind hour or so for Crowley's Andrew. Congratulations. This might sound nice. You're a League One football club. Yeah, sounds great, doesn't it? Richly deserved. <laughs> it's been a long wait, but how do you feel now? It's something, you're right, it's definitely deserved, but you had to get over all the obstacles, didn't you? And now it's been voted that you are promoted as the runners-up. Obviously delighted. Uh, delighted, uh, you know, for, for all the staff and all the team uh, uh, down at uh, Reese Heath, uh, uh, David and Kenny and uh, all the work that they've done. Um, I, you know, I'm proud of them. Uh, they've, they've, uh, they've done us proud. And, and I'm delighted for them. It's great to get this reward for them. And the other thing is, well, John, over the last couple of years as well, you've increased the gates at home. There's been more people coming to your home games. You're getting a good away following. The, the feel-good factor seems to come back to the football club. And, and winning any promotion is never, ever easy. There's a bit of an icing on the cake here for all the work that's gone in. Yes, it is indeed. And as you said, the gates have improved uh, what uh, the club has uh, set themselves out to do and uh, have done has been, uh, you know, rewarded with an increase in gates and more of a supporters. Um, yeah, there is a, uh, an ambitious uh, uh, air around the place and uh, oh, it's just great that uh, we've been able to re repay all our supporters who've been with us through thick and thin, and uh, now they can really enjoy uh, the time ahead, can't they? Yeah, they can have a great summer. I'm pretty sure they've all been waiting for the letter P to come next to Carl Alexander since March the 7th when you last kicked the ball and you beat Stevens. But well, that letter, little letter P means a lot. It does indeed. It does indeed. And uh, as I say, um, it's great for the whole team at the club who've worked hard, stayed loyal um, and uh, put the, the, the effort and the time in. And uh, great for the lads at Reese Heath because the, the ambition has been there. Uh, and it's nice to be able to, uh, you know, pay back and... Uh, say thank you in this way to, as you say, all the supporters, particularly those who have been with us a long time. But uh, yeah, there's a great air around the place and uh, the ambition we will continue with. You take great pride in the way that you started out. Ooh, it's a long, long time ago now, John. It's 30 odd <laughs> years ago since yeah. Dario stopped off the train and, and decided the youth policy was for, for Cro Alexandra. And, and what you've achieved this year, when you looked at your team sheets, every game that you've attended, you've probably seen an average of eight to ten of your homegrown players out on the park, mixed in with some real top senior professionals. It's been a, f a perfect fit. It has, and that's where, you know, the uh, you, you say well done to David and Kenny and the lads at Reeseeth because uh, they've uh, been prepared to take the risk, and there is uh, in the early years with the youngsters coming through, um, they've been prepared to do that and find the right blend between um, our youngsters and the, 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 the more senior players. And they've got that combination right. So um, they, they deserve it. What does it mean for, for, for the whole club going from a League Two club to a League One club? Oh, um, it means uh, it's difficult to put it into word, words, really, uh, Graham. Um, you know, uh, we've, uh, we've got supporters, but we've had people at the club committed to youth development, committed to bringing the youngsters through as very much key to what we do. Um, finding the, the right experienced players to support the, what they're doing. Um, and, the, the, you know, that, that means a lot because um, if we get promotion, well, the, the, the strategy that we have, the, the, uh, the way in we want to take the club forward, it's a vote of confidence, isn't it? 
Mm. Mm. Definitely. It shows that you're doing the right thing at times when you've been under severe pressure, probably to change that policy, but you're stuck by your guns. And while we still await what's going to happen in League One in terms of being it finalised, but when you just look at it, Sunderland, Ipswich, Peterborough, Doncaster, then you look at locally Burton, Shrewsbury, Blackpool. It's a nice feel to it, John. Well, it's, uh, it's wonderful. Um, we've not forgotten the way there from the days when we used to go. Uh, yes, I'm yes. delighted to be going back down those roads again. Well, congratulations. I'm pretty sure you, Jean, Alison, Mark, might have a little glass of champagne tonight to celebrate what's been a, we, a great achievement. We shall indeed. Uh, and again, um, can I say to all the supporters and to all those who've committed themselves to us through the years, enjoy too, enjoy the, the time with us because we're grateful. It'll be a big challenge next year, next mm. season. We don't uh, delude ourselves from that. But if we all stay together and we continue with the way we want to run a football club and take a football club forward, then I'm sure um, we will uh, hopefully get um, a reward for all that's been put in. And so to everyone in the town locally, all our supporters, enjoy it with us because this promotion is part of you as well as us. And thank you.